Hi everyone and welcome back. I'm going to be doing a video today on Little Mix's Perry out of their new video um, DNA. So anyway, let's start off with a primer. I'm using the Hard Candy one. You can use any primer you want. Be high end, low end, whatever. In fact, if you feel like you can skip a primer, you don't actually have to use it. I just like using a primer. Because it's a good base for me anyway. So, right. If you have just after seen, if you have seen, if you have seen my haul, you would have seen that I bought the Wake Me Up foundation. So I'm gonna try it out. I've never tried it out before. I'm hoping it's good. So here we go. I'm gonna take two pumps first. Here we go. Well, it has a weird smell. <laughs> Can you guys, if you are from America, get Remmel in America? Because I don't remember. I went around all the drug thing, drug things, and I, I'm sure I seen Remmel, but Remmel's an English brand, is it not? But I don't know if you can or not, or maybe it was Revlon I seen, but. You can get some really nice stuff from Revlon. This foundation I actually really, really like. I'm actually shocked. I didn't think I'd like it. I mean, you can get so much out of this. And it's not like one of them foundations that dry real easy. You know the way like some are really dry on your skin. That's because I have maybe dry skin, but they dry like super fast and are hard to move. You have to work quickly with them. But this seems nice. I like it. Ooh, goodbye me. Well done me for picking something good. Actually, it's not me who persuaded me to buy it. Um, Loads of YouTubers. <laughs> from their reviews and not that I sat and watched reviews about a foundation before I bought it. <laughs> my friends have used this too and normally I like my makeup forever at the minute but I really like this. Yeah. This could be my new favourite. It doesn't cover all redness but I mean it's a lot better than what I thought it would be. I'm going to take this blem Hide the Blemish concealer, so I wonder if it will work. I wanted to pick a colour that was very close to my skin. I have a bit of a blemish there. So that will blend in nicely. The soft, the soft honey does work with me. Well done, me again. <laughs> no one actually persuaded me to buy the concealer. I just needed a new concealer. I'm still going to use a brush with it. Just because I'm used to using brushes at the minute for my concealer. So definitely good pigmentation from both of these products. Right, let's continue on with this tutorial or else it'll be forever. I'm going to take a primer. I'm just taking the Urban Decay one. You can take whatever one you want. And you're going to want like a skin colour base sort of thing. A skin, like a white, <laughs> not sort of one that blends in with your skin. I'm taking one by Too Faced uh, White and then I'm taking this brown and I'm also going to blend with this brown here. So that is A Little Bit of Heaven. No, it's not called A Little Bit of Heaven, it's called Heaven. Velvet Revolver and Espresso. So I'm taking a bit of Heaven first and I'm taking it right over the eye. 
I have dry skin, so I'm not going to need a powder. I might set the makeup with a loose powder anyway at the end, just in case. Because um, I want it to last. I need a fluffy brush now. That's a mini blending brush. Like fluffy brush. And I'm taking the darkest brown in that palette. And I'm taking it sort of just here. And I'm lightly, I'm hardly applying any pressure at all. Just sort of feathering it on. Her look, her makeup was so cool. I loved it. It looked quite black under her eyes but then she closed her eyes and it looked sort of this but then I thought instead of using a a dark black I could use a really dark brown instead like you went a bit over we can fix that with concealer in the end I'm going to take a bit of the light colour and I'm just going to blend that over it just to make it not as harsh just to use as a bit of a blending colour to blend around the edges of it so it's more softer I'm going to take my concealer brush again and I'm just going to clean up. Right there. Now she's something really heavy under her eyes. I think it is a dark brown so I'm going to use a dark brown. I'm just using the same colour. Looking up in the mirror, just like that. And it actually stings when you get it in your eye, so watch that. I'm going to take that light colour again just to use it as a blending colour. Make it more softer, but I mean it's still pretty harsh. <laughs> See your weird faces, everyone, for this. I'm gonna take my concealer just to clean up under there. Just the brush. I'm not actually putting any more product on it. Okay, lastly on the eyes she has quite a dark line in the waterline so I'm going to take my new eyeliner and I'm just going to close my eye and apply it on both up and bottom up and lower lash line waterline whatever you call it just to make that more dramatic she has quite an orangey colour on her cheeks. Out of this palette this is quite orange here. It doesn't show up quite orange on screen but it is quite orange so I'm going to take that and I'm just going to apply that on. It doesn't look like she has any like contour or bronzer on her skin. It's quite light. She does however have a red lip so I'm going to take a dark lip liner or in my case actually I'm going to take an eyeliner because I don't have any dark lip liners. This is just a brown by a brand called Millie. My lips are so dry, it's unbelievable. 
I already have mascara on, so I'm not going to put anything else on there. I want to put that red lipstick on if I can find it. Oh, there it is there. It's right in front of me. Any red lipstick, I'm just using one by number seven. And that's the look, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.